has gotten concluded and they have approved the demerger of the diagnostic business called SRL into a separate company which is going to be listed. What we are awaiting is uh, the other nuances of the demerger like the swap ratio, the valuation, the entitlement ratio. But what we know is what we were expecting. The board has approved the demerger of the diagnostic business SRL into a separately listed company. And considering the hefty valuation and the great listing that its peers like Thyrocare and Dr. La Dr. Lals has seen, I guess that's what prompted Fortis Healthcare to monetize the diagnostic business SRL and make it into a listed company. Remember, SRL has a pan-India presence. When you compare it to its closest peer, Dr. Lal's, which is focused on North and East, and Thyrocare, that has its main laboratory in Mumbai. But a lot of people in the street believe, while we await the valuation details, is that um, analysts may not give Fortis Healthcare the same valuation premium that you give the likes of Thyrocare as well as Dr. Lal because for one, SRL's growth rate has been lower than that of its peers. Take a look in Q1. SRL only had a revenue growth of about 7% while Dr. Lal's was at 17%. So its revenue growth has been lower and secondly, the margin profile is also lower. For SRL, margins are at what, 22-23% while for Dr. Lal's it's at 27% and Thyrocare at 29%. Varinder, uh, did you get more details? Yeah, you know the structure of the deal first, okay. very important. Now what they've done is there are two entities, Fortis Hospital and Fortis Mallard, you know, limited, or Fortis Mallard Hospital. Now, what I read from the, you know, uh, announcement, what they're doing is they are demerging the hospital business of uh, Fortis Mallard, merging into Fortis Hospital. So, Fortis Hospital will be the only hospital limited entity demerging for, uh, the diagnostic business from Fortis uh, listed company and merging the same or reverse merging the same into Fortis Mallard. So that means there will be an automatic listing of this which will happen. So again, to clarify and repeat myself once again, uh, Fortis Mallard Hospital name will be changed into SRL and the diagnostic business which is in Fortis Limited now will be demerged from the lim limited company and reverse demerged into Fortis Mallard. So there is a Fortis Mallard which is the listed entity. So this entitles them to give an automatic listing. Also the share ratio which is important. What I'm reading from here is that there's an entitlement ratio of 0.98 equity shares of Fortis Mallard Hospital to one equity share of uh, the other company. And then the, so this is what it is, okay, as of now. So, you know, uh, they need an automatic listing. This is what they have done. So, demerging the business of diagnostic and reverse merging into Fortis Mallard Hospital is what they have done. And Mallard is also going to get merged, is separated into a... You no, Mallard Hospital is an entity, you know, which 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 is a small entity, but the hospital business of Fortis Mallard will go into the into Fortis Hospital. So there are three entities. Okay, one is okay. Fortis Hospital, which has two businesses, and one is Fortis Hospital, which is nothing a small company with a market cap of hundred crores, but running a hospital business. What they're doing is they're putting hospital hospital business into one. So what they've done is they wanted a, a you know a blank company. So the hospital business in Fortis Mallard Hospital is getting demerged on a slump basis, you know, uh, and then merged with Fortis Hospital. Okay. That is one. Second, so you have a Fortis Healthcare, you will have a Fortis Hospital, which will include the hospital business of Fortis Malar, while Fortis Malar will also include the diagnostic business. Right? Yes, and yeah, and as I said, you know, from Fortis Limited, the demerger of diagnostic business will go. Since they want an automatic listing, that is reverse demerged into Fortis Mallard and the name of Fortis Mallard will change to SRL. So at the end of the day, you will have two entities. One will be Fortis Hospital, which is what it is right now, minus diagnostic business plus hospital business of Fortis Mallard. And the second entity will be new SRL or the earlier Fortis Mallard, which will have only the diagnostic business. Any sense that we can make initially on the swap ratio? Uh, I have to just, I'm just reading about the same in a second and I'll come back to you. Okay, in the meanwhile, let's get in some uh, reactions. Uh, Prakash Divan.